in this video we are going to take up one more problem on projections of points the problem reads as a point is 35 mm below hp and 20 mm behind vb and 25 mm in front or behind or from rpp draw its projections and name the side view so this is the problem so we will first try to analyze how this problem can be worked out. So how to identify the quadrant. So the condition given here is the point is below HP and behind VP. So what does it mean? If you are considering the problem here, a point is below HP. So in consider this is the horizontal plane and the point should be below HP. So that means he has given 35 mm below HP. So the distance from this point to here will going to be the below HP. And 25 mm behind VP. So which is the distance? So that is from here to here is 20 mm behind VP. So this distance from this point to this point is 20 mm behind VP. And then he says 25 mm in front or behind or from RPP. So what should be the condition of this quadrant? The condition of this quadrant is in the third quadrant. So what happens in the third quadrant? The point is below HP and behind VP. And then he says 25 mm in front or behind or from RPP. So as we know that the any plane will always be transparent so since it is transparent whether if i look from the left side view or it from the right side view always the image will going to fall on the right profile plane why it should fall on the right profile plane because he has given that it is behind or in front or from rpp Suppose if I want to say it is in front of RPP, then I should look from the left side view. Then the point is in front of RPP. So that is this point. Suppose if I say behind RPP, so that means I should look from the right side view. As we look from the right side view, the point will be behind the right profile plane. But since you have the two positions of the view, so which view is to be considered that should be the condition to apply that what should i do now i should apply the condition of the uh, observer so what is the condition of the observer if i look from the front view i means the observer if the observer is looks from the front view the plane is between the object and observer. I will repeat. If the observer is looking from the front view, then the plane will be between the point and the observer. Suppose if I look from the top view, then the plane is between the point and the observer. I will repeat. If the observer is looking from the top, then the plane is between the object, that is the point, and the observer. Suppose if I consider the left side view, the object is between the plane and the observer. So this condition is not satisfied. As I look from the left side view, the object is between the plane, that is the right profile plane, and the observer. Suppose if the same thing, if I look from the right side view, the plane is between the object and the observer. Since the right side view is satisfying the condition of the front view, therefore, I should look always from the right side view for the third quadrant. So if I look from the right side view, the object is behind RPP. If I look from the same front view, the object is below HP. If I look from the side top view, the object is behind VP. 
So always you should satisfy the condition of the vertical plane. Since it is behind BP, it should be obviously it should be behind RPP. In general, whenever if I see an object, whenever if I want to see the image on the plane, I should always look in a perpendicular direction to that plane. So that is the condition. So what does it mean? If I look from the front view, the image will going to fall on the vertical plane because the front view is perpendicular to the plane. Similarly, if I look from the top view, the object or the image will going to fall on the horizontal plane because the top view is perpendicular to the horizontal plane. Applying the same concept to the right side view, even the left side view is also perpendicular to the right profile plane and also the right side view is also perpendicular to the right profile plane. But that will not suffice the condition. The condition what I want is the condition of the observer. So always it should satisfy the condition of the vertical plane. In the vertical plane, if I look from the front view, plane is between the object and the observer. The same condition is satisfied when I look from the right side view. So once I look from the right side view, what I can see? I can see below HP and behind our VP. So the below HP is seen here and the behind VP is seen here. So these two distances can be seen in the right side view directly. So always it should satisfy the condition of the vertical plane because when it is cut and rotated, always the vertical profile plane will be aligned with the vertical plane always. So this is how you can be able to analyze this. So when you look, so when it is the behind RPP, which is 25 mm is seen in the front view that is this distance and also when you look from the top view you can see the distance here so if i cut it here then open it in the uh, horizontal plane is rotated in the clockwise direction and right profile plane is also rotated in the clockwise direction then we can see in the intermediate position what happens the horizontal plane is being rotated to the top and the right profile plane is being rotated to the right side so finally what happens it will going to comes in this direction as we know that the behind rpp is seen in both the vertical plane and also in the horizontal plane and when you look from the top view the behind vp which is 20 mm is seen in the horizontal plane that is this distance and below hp when it is projected it will be projected onto the vertical plane the vertical plane that is from here it is considered as 35 mm and mark that point so here also we are marking that point the point which you want to mark is always the capital character which has been given in the drawing so here, we, since you are not given any point, so I can select any arbitrary point naming. So I will consider this as P dash and I will consider this as P. So as we project from the top view to the X1, Y1 line and also as we know the P dash that is the front view is projected onto the right profile plane. So in the right profile plane, what I can see is the both below HP and behind VP. So always the front view, whatever the distance you have, the same thing will be continued into the right profile plane here. And the distance with respect to the RPP that is 25 mm is seen in both VP, is seen in both VP and HP. So that is what we will going to get. And as we see, as we see here, so when you look from the right side view, when you look from the right side view, I can see the distance of below HP and I can see the distance behind VP. 
So that means I can see the distances of the front view and also the distances in the top view. And both P dash and P double dash will going to lie on the same line. This is the intermediate position before going into the exact 90 degree. So that's what we have shown here. And correspondingly, the image is also being rotated. So as we know that uh, the distance with respect to the profile plane is seen in VP and also in HP. So from this from this line, you take the distance of 25 mm and in both VP and also in HP and then draw a vertical projector line. The distance behind VP is always seen in the HP according to our earlier videos. So the behind VP which is in HP, since HP is above its y line, from this point you mark that distance as 20 and mark this point as small b. And then below HP is seen in the horizontal, in the vertical plane, that distance is seen here. From this point, you take the distance of 35 mm and mark this point. Since the image is on the vertical plane, always it looks from the front view, which is P dash. Then as we know here, as we rotate what happens, so here, Below HP, which is vertical here, even after rotating, that below HP will be vertical. And behind VP, which is here, which is when HP is rotated, this also becomes vertical. So that's what we have shown here. But when it is projected here, so till here, you are going to get still behind VP is vertical. And below HP is vertical here, here also it becomes vertical. Then as we know the distance has to be projected onto the right side view. Draw a projector from here to here and then I want this vertical distance from here to here which is behind VP. Is transferred to the right profile plane by drawing at an angle of 45 degrees. The distance between this point to this and the this point to this will going to remain the same. And then from this point, this is the top view point, and then you project the top view point onto the right profile plane so that you will on P dash on the same line, you will going to get the P double dash. And behind VP, which is 20 mm here, will come here, which is 20 mm. And below HP, which is 35 mm, which can be seen here on the 35 mm. So in the right side view, I can see the distance of below HP and also the distance of behind VP. So this is how you will be able to analyze this problem. And then the final solution, what we can do is draw a XY line and X1, Y, Y line, little bit thicker than the projector line. And then measure and identify the plane since it is in the third quadrant. HP will going to be above and VP will going to be below. So HP and VP which is above and below to the demarcation of XY and X1, Y1 line. And as the RPP is being rotated to the right side in a clockwise direction, both VP and RPP will be aligned. Then mark that RPP here. As we know that the distance behind RPP is seen in both VP, that is from here to here, you measure that 25 mm. And the, dist and the distance with respect to HP also is 25 mm. So that means from here to here, you mark the distance of 25 mm. And we know that behind VP is seen in HP, since HP is above x y line, from x y line you measure the distance of 20 mm and you mark this point which is small p. Then you measure the distance from this point to here which is 35 mm which is below HP. So from here you measure the distance of 35 mm from the x y line to this point. Then you mark that point as p dash. And now we need to, now we need to project the right side view. So draw a horizontal projector from P dash to the right profile plane and then you draw a 45 degree line from the origin by considering the, by taking the protractor and then draw a line here. Then project the top view point which is small p onto that 45 degree line 
One should do that what happens the behind VP which is uh, vertical here will become horizontal. Then draw a vertical projector from this point to the profile view and where from where you have drawn the P dash till both of the, both the lines will go into intersect at this point. So this point will going to be P double dash and the view what you are seeing here which is the right side view. So this is how you will be able to analyze the problem on projections of points in third quadrant. Thank you.